So what's up everybody, Retro Secrets here, back at y'all with a new video. And today's video is going to be on how to do a floral custom on some roast runs. Now I know a lot of y'all have been seeing this everywhere on Instagram, a lot, everywhere, YouTube too, you know. A lot of people, a lot of people doing floral customs, and, you know, people charging people to do the floral customs and all that. So yeah, I know a lot of people were curious about this custom, you know, how do you do it? And today I'm gonna teach y'all, you know, I had that same question also before. The roast one I'm showing you right here is actually my first floral custom ever. So yeah, I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to do it, like I said. So yeah, let's get into it. And if y'all are curious on what they look like before, uh, this right here is the before look right here. So yeah, enough talk and let's get into it let me teach you how to make a floral custom all right y'all so right now i'm gonna go ahead and list the materials you're gonna need of course to start off with you're gonna need a pair of roast runs uh any it doesn't matter what type of roast run you use this roast run actually has like that like actual like this different type of material not like the typical material you find on almost every roast run this one's kind of different but this process works on any roast run and you're also gonna need a razor some masking tape and you're gonna need some scissors you're also going to need a fabric, you know, the, the fabric of your choice that we're going to go ahead and be applying onto the shoe to customize it. I got my fabric from Joanna's Fabric Store. And to glue down the fabric, you're going to need some glue. What I'm going to be using is um, Bish's Original Tear Mender. This was also purchased from Joanna's. It's instant fabric and leather adhesive. It works really well. Um, I, like how, I like how it works. It's really good. It's permanent, it's flexible, and it's washable. So if you get it wet, so if you walk in your shoes and you know anything basically like th this won't uh, tear apart from the roast room. Also I recommend you use fray check. You know those little hairs that stick out of your shoes sometimes and like from it being worn? Well this stops that from happening. And also I forgot to mention you're gonna need some plastic bags uh, to go ahead and stuff the toe box area of the shoe. So yeah let's get started. Alright so the first thing you're gonna do is just go ahead and remove the laces. Um, I, I feel like it's easier to work with this uh, shoe if it's if you just remove the laces. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, y'all. So like I said, you're gonna go ahead and get your plastic bags and just go ahead and stuff the toe box. All right, y'all. So I stuffed the toe box completely. Make sure it's stuffed well so that it doesn't lose shape while you're working on the shoe. Today I'm gonna be adding floral to the heel area right here and to the toe box. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the heel area because that's the easiest part in my opinion. So you're gonna go ahead and get your masking tape and apply it to the heel area. Apply it to all this area. And once you've applied all the tape to cover up the heel area, you're gonna get your razor, or razor blade, whatever, it doesn't matter, and cut out the tape from that area so you have just the heel area piece and then you're gonna go ahead and put that over your fabric and we're gonna cut that out all right y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now So I just finished applying the tape to the heel area and then I used a razor blade to go ahead and cut out the shape of the heel area and then I placed that tape as you saw in the video over the piece of fabric I'm using and then I got my scissors and cut out that shape and this is what I have now. All right, y'all, so before I go ahead and start gluing this on there, I mentioned earlier in the video that uh, about the phrase and all that, how, you know, over time they'll, they'll like, you'll see the little hairs poking out. Um, to avoid that, I'm gonna be using this thing called Fray Check. This is also purchased from um, Joanna's um, Fabric, whatever the hell that place is called. Um, and I'm gonna be applying it to the edges. And it takes about 15 to 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it right now, and I'll get back at y'all uh, when it's completely done drying. All right, yeah, so the phrase check that I applied uh, finished uh, drying up. So we're gonna go ahead and start gluing it on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying the tear mender to the area right here that we're gonna start gluing on. Trust the bish, bish.
So I finished applying the floral to the heel area of the shoe. And shout out to my girl for actually, uh, you know, buying all the supplies, you know, to make this floral custom possible. And, I, and even providing these shoes to make the floral custom possible. So yeah, a big shout out to her. So the next step is to go ahead and move on to the toe area. I'm also going to be working on my gamma greens right here. I'm going to be putting this fabric um I know on the heel for sure. Maybe right here on the swoosh. Uh, I'm not sure where else I'm gonna be applying this, but I know for sure I'm gonna be applying it right now to this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you what that looks like as well. Alright, so y'all just seen the finished product for both of the shoes. It came out really, really clean, and it's the same process throughout the whole shoe. Just place your tape over the shoe, cut out the area, place a piece of tape on a piece of fabric, cut it out with some scissors, add the fray check around the, the edges of that fabric, and then just glue it right onto the area you're working on. So yeah, that's about it, y'all. So thanks for watching this episode of Retro Sneakers. Make sure to subscribe to my weekly sneaker videos. Make sure to like this video and leave a comment down below. And also go ahead and follow me on my Instagram where I post a bunch of dope sneaker pics. My Instagram is at Jose Reminis. I got a lot more dope content coming out. So make sure to subscribe to my weekly sneaker videos. And thanks for watching.